What a scene here as we welcome you to this live pay-per-view extravaganza. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division between these two great warriors. Viking Warriors making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. Muhammad Ali's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. They're underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Able to get rid of that one. 90 seconds to go here in this round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Showing you some defense there with the block. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Oh, and there you go. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. So we come to the end of the round, and clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Cover up. Leaving yourself open. Cover up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Viking Warriors coming out for this round here, knowing that he was tagged in that last round, Teddy. Now, different guys react in different ways when that happens. It can either bring you up or bring you down. Exactly. You hit it head on. You embrace it. You embrace it as a challenge. You say, okay, I'm going to show what I'm made of. Or you start to become small. You start to vanish a little bit. Strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Come on now, work it out. Good clean shot. 
shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nice block by Ali. Nice strike after catching one by Viking Warrior. Blocks away that headshot. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. the right hand after getting tagged like that. Locks that punch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Warriors corners got to be happy about that last round. Don't worry about it. The swelling is nothing. Just... As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going to distance with how lopsided it's been. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Fighting fire with fire is Ali's opponent because he is able to utilize that jab, stay out of range of harm's way of danger, and beating Ali on the outside. And this is something that was so unexpected. How could you expect that Ali beats everybody with his great speed, his ability to put punches together, his fleet feet on the outside? Nobody expected this. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Good exchange, he fires back. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Viking Warriors doing it just the way he wants to do it. And that last round kind of sums up the whole fight. In complete control. He's up on the scorecard, heading towards another victory. And he's up on my scorecard. Now he just has to be careful that he doesn't get careless, he doesn't get reckless. Viking Warriors.
Hurts doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Ali's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, are going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. He took a shot. Now he gives a left. Recover from this. One, two, three, four, Ali gets up after being knocked down. Be interesting to see how he responds here. You know, we've always been able to see how he responds in a physical way, in an athletic way. Great. I mean, he has everything. Now, we're going to see if he has the real package, the full package. What is in the heart? What is in the soul? What is in the mind of Muhammad Ali? This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm gonna remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Viking Warriors in control of this fight, scoring the knockdown in that last round, now trying to carry some of that momentum through. Well, right now, he's, we're going to find out if he's a finisher. And promoters, fans, they love finishes. Networks, they love finishes. Right now, he has a chance to show that's what he is. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good defensive skill. Good exchange. He fires back. Muhammad Ali is out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question. So he's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before. So he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Locks it away. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A headshot blocked. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. Blocked by Ali. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Viking Warriors in complete control. Teddy way ahead on the scorecards every which way, isn't he? Yeah, every which way, and especially the most important way, I think, is that the fight is in his kind of pace. It's a fast-paced fight. It's an outside fight. It's exactly what he wants, not only to be ahead, which we think he is, but to stay ahead. There he is on the inside, doing well. Boy, very sharp with his punches. He doesn't miss much. <laughs> He's like a scalpel right there. You know, he's making incisions here and there. He's really doing an operation.
away from that headshot with the block. but he gave some back with the right hand. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. Wow, is he defensively sound. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Viking Warriors coasting his way towards a victory here. That round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for him. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glut. You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table, you know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the bank. That's great stuff. He fires. Oh! Muhammad Ali's late, and for the second time tonight, he goes down. being knocked down be interesting to see how he responds here you know we've always been able to see how he responds in a physical way in an athletic way great knocked down again unreal now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking are they gonna stop this one the count of 10 that's it knockout never saw the punch coming let's get the official particulars and send it up to our ring announcer he's your winner by knockout victory i feel like i just came out of the movie theater joe I'm in action, prefer when I'm in action.